Hi, this is Charting Man Dan of thechartguys.com, home of technical analysis education. Click the link for a free week trial, no credit card required, and gain access to our multiple live broadcasts daily, community chat room, educational videos, nightly watch lists, and more. Invest in your education and future and join the community today. Hi, this is Charting Man Dan of thechartguys.com, home of technical analysis education. Click the link for a free week trial, no credit card required, and gain access to our multiple live broadcasts daily, community chat room, educational videos, nightly watch lists, and more. Invest in your education and future and join the community today. All right, everybody, Brexit Friday, spy on the daily and weekly time frame. Myself, as well as the entire market, was dead wrong about the Brexit vote. But fortunately, being cash overnight to stay protected allowed for some nice trading opportunities today. So we saw a nice bounce early on, and then bearish positions could have been entered at key resistance levels as we saw the bears take over at the rest of the day. So this upper wick obviously was not here. That's a glitch on the chart there. We've got the high of the day today that the bulls made it up to was 206.91. So right about below that 50-day moving average. That's going to be a key level to watch just because any bounce, that's going to be resistance. So 206.91. The bears were in full control. We were utilizing the two-minute time frames. Usually we stick to the five-minute, but with all the crazy action, two minutes allowed for some nice insight. Clear bearish breaks were occurring on the five-minute, which allowed us some nice bearish entries and those weekly options sure paid well. So from here, we're going to be looking at some key levels. After hours right now, we're at 202.80. We closed at 203.24. So we kept this very key support. I'm watching 203 like a hawk. We were watching it very strongly back in mid and early May. We can see back in April that established as a base. We tested it, held it, tested it again. It looked like the market was about to dump bearish. Then we formed a bullish reversal doji and look at the bullish run that followed through from that hold of 203. So if and when we close below 203, we will be looking for the bears to take over as that is a very key support level. It was a head and shoulders pattern, left shoulder, head, right shoulder with your neckline at 203 and we are right at that support. If it is lost, 20209 and 200 are the 100 and 200 day moving averages. There is going to be no bounce until we turn this lower Bollinger Band on the daily chart into support. That's going to be rapidly dropping. Need to update that at the open every day. Be well aware what that level is and be looking for a close above it to indicate some strength. So the weekly time frame for SPY, right at the middle Bollinger Band on the weekly at 202.55. If we break this low of 201.73, it will be a break of the higher low consolidation pattern and it will then be a lower low and weakness will be setting in. We'll be likely seeing a bearish MACD cross as well. So there is a lot of action going on pre-market right now. I'm looking on my other screen. We've got SPY down in the 20220s right now, testing the low of pre-market, which was at about 20209. So the bears are absolutely in control heading into next week, watching for a close below 203 to affirm that. And we will see what we get on Monday. Stop losses, more important than ever. And use those shorter term time frames to make sure you're trading with the trend. And if you're not trading with the trend, make sure you have those quick fingers going as the bounces will be anticipated to be short lived. So I appreciate you watching. Hope you didn't get too scathed today in the action. And I will see you Monday.